So here's a continuation of my inspiration that I got when I went to San Francisco a couple of weeks ago. Like I said, San Francisco is a very international city and right across the street was this terrific little restaurant with Indian and Pakistani food. So please to be watching, we will be making Indian food today. We will be making chicken tikka masala. Oh, does my little Indian accent offend you? Fuck, I don't care. Imagine if you call technical support and you got somebody with a Cajun accent. You'd be like, click. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host, I am Sean. Today we're going to be making some Indian food. And I don't mean corn dogs that you get at the 7-Eleven where the guy in the turban sells you, sells you that in an icy. No, we're going to be making some real good Indian food. Chicken tikka masala. Not to be confused with chicken marsala, which is made with wine. That's a different thing altogether. Anyway, before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. Remember I did a leftover episode? This is like drink leftovers. Okay, um, I was too lazy to go to the store and get some new liquor, so I have to make do. Vodka. I've got hurricane mix left from my MRE episode. Yeah, I told you New Orleans never, New Orleans never drink hurricanes. And I'm not going to drink pure hurricane juice. God, I, could, I need insulin. So let's just top it off with my good old vodka. I mean, my good old soda. Tastes fruity. All right, ingredients, we need shit. Chicken, boneless chicken, sprung for the boneless chicken. The only pain in the ass part about this recipe is you have to marinate the chicken. Nice size chicken chunks. You were gonna grill it later and that big chunks makes it easier to grill. Cumin. Whew. It's got that exotic kind of bitey smell to it. You can use cayenne pepper. This is just red pepper flakes. I'm not feeling the love for the hurricane vodka there. Coriander is the seed of the cilantro plant. You're supposed to use coriander, but I couldn't find any coriander. And much to my chagrin, the store did not have fresh cilantro, so I had to get this tube of freaking prepared cilantro, which gulls me. Oh, is it organic? Let's find out. You know what organic means? Organic means it has carbon in it. Everything you eat has carbon, so everything you eat is organic. In fact, the only thing I can think of that you eat that's not organic is salt. Find another name for your pesticide-free stupidity. All right, get our organic cilantro. We're gonna put that in the bag. And we get some garlic. This is minced garlic. Oh man, my grater broke. That sucks, well it's still great. All right, get some very phallic looking ginger. I mean, seriously? This is a great dish for all those exotic spices that you decided you would buy but then never had any clue what to do with, like ginger. Well, that's part of the marinade, a little bit of olive oil and some yogurt, plain yogurt. Plastic bags are a wonderful thing to do marinades in. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, an hour or two. Put it in the fridge. I'm like not feeling the love of the vodka hurricane here. I know that was alcohol abuse, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to go with plain old dirty martini, olives, a little bit of olive juice, and vodka. Alright kids, I'm marinating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, we're back. It's been a while. So... We should get a refill. Who's counting? Clearly I'm not. Because as all good chefs know, before you cook your stuff, you need a refill. More than liquor? Liquor? I don't even know her! What are we making? 
Oh, we're making Indian food. Oh, wow. Onions. Remember the Cuban food? And that's like a third world thing. India is like a third world thing, too. Even though you first world people, when you call technical support, you get Indian people. So they're technical support, the third world technical support of the first world. Let's put our onions in the pot while we wait on technical support to figure out their ass from a hole in the ground. I live in Louisiana. So Louisiana is the third world of the first world. We're the India of the United States. Except, in India, when you call for technical support, they know everything, even though they can't speak English. In Louisiana, we can't speak English, and we don't know anything. We're just waiting on the onions to kind of cook, get kind of translucent, sort of brownish. If you were to call technical support, and you got someone with an Indian accent, you'd be like, oh, you can totally help me with my, you know, email problem or whatever. Imagine if you call technical support and you got somebody with a Cajun accent. You'd be like, click. Imagine, you know, you can't get to your email or you can't get your Photoshop to work or something. You call a technical support. Hello, this is Rajesh. I am very happy to help you with your problems with Photoshop. Uh, I would love for you to help me with my problems with Photoshop. I can't get my uh, whatever's to mesh with my interlaced computer or something sounding thing. Oh yeah, that is not a problem. I can easily help you with that. And you'd be like, oh great, thank you Rajesh, that's awesome. Some sauteing onions and just the olive oil for right now. But now imagine you called. Hey, Sean, this is this is your battery. What can I do for you? Now we're gonna add some tomato paste. Yes, I'm I, I'm having a problem with Microsoft Excel. Um, I'm not really sure how to get my figures to coalesce into a thing. Woo, Risha, you got a big problem there. Yeah, oh, there's nothing I can do for that. You need to go buy the upgrade. A couple of tablespoons of uh, garlic, because you can never have enough garlic and shit. Especially third world dishes. You sure is that the only thing I can do? Yeah, you come on down to the Bible and we show you exactly what to do. Except we use crawfish, shrimp, and oysters. And you make all your, it all coalesces into a big gumbo. Here's one of those crazy ass spices that you bought and don't know what the hell to do with. Garam masala. Put a bunch of that shit in there. So you see, it might not be a bad thing to have third world technical support. Just saying. Remember, if you have a problem with your onions cooking, you can always call technical support. That's a big problem. I never heard of that. Hey, boy, let me call my supervisor. Because it's Indian shit, so it needs a lot of Indian sounding spices. Supervisor, I said, no. This guy got a problem with his onions. It ain't turning translucent. He ain't using the Trinity. What is he using that Ember Lagasse recipe? With onion peppers and carrots? Well, no wonder he having a problem. Oh, yeah. Some more ginger. We're going to take the, the penis from our ginger phallic symbol earlier. Grape that up into there. Um, are you sure that a Cajun is the right person to talk to about making Indian food? Oh, sure! You know we can make anything! Um, are you Cajun or are you Jamaican? I really can't tell. Next part of our masala sauce is the hot part. Did he 
not watch Cooking with the Influence the Gumbo episode? It came out awesome. Would you even do the IE? You can use pepper, or I'm going to use Holokia, Jolokia jam. Sure, you know I did the IE. I'm a catcher. What do you expect? Jolokia, I don't know if you know that, is the hottest pepper in the world. Because as everybody that's not from Louisiana knows, every kitchen ends every sentence with I Somehow, I came upon Jolokia Jam. I was in the elevator and somebody said, Hey, aren't you that guy of the cooking show? I said, Yes, I am. He said, he pulled us out of his backpack. He said, this is for you. I want you to have it. I was very touched. To the dude who gave the Joaquin jam, this is for you. This is diced tomatoes. Add the shit. A little bit of sugar, a couple tablespoons of sugar, and like maybe a teaspoon or so of salt. Done. Turmeric. Turmeric. Doesn't have a whole lot of odor to it, but it does have a lot of color to it. It's very orange. Okay, right now it just looks like a bunch of tomato sauce. We're gonna take care of that in a little bit. It is cumin. That Jolokia sauce is like not hot. So let's add some sambal alak. That's a Dutch thing. Sambal alak. Simmer. Do your thing. What are we gonna do in the meantime? Hey, don't we have a bunch of chicken marinating in the refrigerator? Whoa! Woo wee, chef! You're not using no crumb, there's no oyster or nothing in that Indian food. How can they eat that? How can they be the second most populous country in the world without no crawfish or oyster, chef? Let's cook it. Put it in the grill. Nice. Is that that place where they got them cows running around in the street and have the temples to their rats? I, I, I think so. I, I really just need to learn how to do my Excel spreadsheet. Can you help me with that? If you want to use vegetarian chicken, which would be tofu, that's fine. Because tofu is actually kind of good. If you want to use organic tofu, or vegan tofu, or macrobiotic tofu, then I'll probably have to come and kill you with my assault rifle. Can you be a bitter pain in the ass in the vegans? Yes, you can. You can be macrobiotic. What is that? I don't fucking know. Time for a refill. This is what, number... Fucking 12, I don't know. What do you do with meat when you cook it, when you traumatize it? You rest the meat. You put it in a bowl, you take it off the heat. Over rice, because you know, the Indians are all about the damn rice. Who you jasmine rice? Jasmine rice. Get it? This looks pretty darn good, but it's not ready yet. It needs to be a color of this cream bottle box thing. Cream, not milk, not half and half. Cream. What's that shit we added? Turmeric. Turmeric makes it orange. What the fuck ever marinade? If you don't remember what's in there, then repeat the video because I told you before. Let's add our chicken to our chicken masala. God, not fresh cilantro, cilantro in a freaking tube. And however much squeezy that was. Don't want sticky damn rice, God forbid. Dang. Okay, that came out really good. My kitchen smells like third world. Which, if you're cooking, is a great thing. If you're not cooking, it kinda sucks. This shit is delicious. Thank you very much. Adios. Bon appetit. My heart burns.
for you like the sun at noon. My desert welcomes you like the rain.